Okay, uh, things are getting really down to the wire for at least the uh, contest I want to enter this thing in. So I'm resorting to the other printer, the MakerBot I've all but given up hope on to, at this point, to be honest. <laughs> so, um, other than the parts that I already have printed that are all like different colors and pieces and everything, um, I really want to have the lid on it and I'm going to have to use the DaVinci, which doesn't have the right color plastic or anything I want. And because the way of the way that the software works for the DaVinci printer, I have to have it plugged into the computer before it will even attempt to slice it, uh, to slice the, uh, the, you know, the object into uh, a print. So I have to use this crazy underpowered um, iMac right here, and I apologize for lack of screen capture software here, but it's a 2011 iMac. I'm at work. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, anyway, um, I've had to cut up the, the lid into five pieces. I just, I, it was going to be three. Uh, well, really, it was going to be two plus this A. Um, and I've ended up having to make it four plus the A. And I just hope to God it will actually hold together when I actually try to attach it all. You can see it's floating and everything because everything's a little bit too big for this printer. Even though this printer is technically bigger, I'm just going to have issues. Anyway, let's uh, get it started. Let's see how long this iMac takes to cut this thing, first of all, to slice it. And see how long this print takes. Well, I'm still recording. <laughs> Well, okay, so if you just noticed a sudden drop in uh, video quality, I do apologize. I've switched to my uh, lesser camera. I mean, you wouldn't know it by looking at it because there's that one there. And here you beautiful people are right here. Um, it's literally the exact same camera, except this is the one that's been dropped a whole bunch and isn't very good at focusing or doing things correctly anymore. It's also got its battery taped together. <laughs> and the screen is all wiggly. Anyway... <laughs> I'm kind of questioning the logic of doing that because if you see, if you look very closely here, I have, oh, can we read it? Yes, we can. I have the uh, settings for, for the other camera very, very, very low in quality, four megabits per second. That will <laughs> give me about 35 hours of recording because even at the worst quality levels uh, for this print with very low... Let's see, um, only 10% infill on the parts, set to a very fast print, like actual actual speed of the nozzle, and on top of that, um, oh, what was the other thing? I don't know, some other thing as well. <laughs> um, oh, low, low resolution and all that as well. Uh, even with everything as poor as I can make it, uh, the best it could do for me was 24 hours for this part, which is ridiculous, it, even with, wow, what's what, what's up with my white balance? Come on, come on. White balance! Do it now! White. White you do this? Okay, I switched my camera to manual and now we've actually got it back to white, thank God. Anyway, even with all of that, it was down to 20, it was only got down to 24 hours. Um, even with much higher quality settings, it was estimating 25 hours and something. So I don't really know what's up there. Uh, it doesn't seem to matter changing the support density. That's what it was, the support density or anything like that. Um, so uh, I don't know. Uh, we'll see. Maybe it won't take the full 24 hours. But uh, for now, it's heating up. Let's see. I don't have my stabilizer turned on, so hopefully you can read this without too much shake. Um... Yeah, so hopefully uh, it doesn't take as long as it's expecting, but we'll see. Oh, is it starting? Ooh. Very exciting. And. 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 Yeah, okay, good. Going back down again. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it's about to start extruding. Um, ooh, let's see. So it's hard to see in there, but that, there's a little, there's that little white thing that's going back and forth. It's actually dragging its nozzle across that to make sure it's clean. Uh, and then it's going to draw, it'll basically draw a line from right in this corner. Um, so it's going to go back down, draw a line that way, come back this way. Oh, it's not even going to do the line. It's actually going to go straight into the printing. That's how uh, spread out this print is. Let's see, is it printing? Blur, 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 blur. Well, that looks like a mess. 
Be right back. Ten minutes later. Let's check on it. I have restarted the print entirely, and it should hopefully be um, even worse. Awesome. See, after I froze it last time, it actually. Well, see, when I took a turn off the video last time, it actually turned out that most of it was printing okay. Just that very, very first part had flipped over. This looks way worse. That's cool. I mean, I, I didn't want to go home and go to bed or anything. Hey, at least I turned my stabilizer on on my camera. So there's that. Ugh. Be right back! Uh, looks like my one very tiny adjustment is already helping. Cool. It is warp it is already bending up slightly, but that'll be way less of an issue. Awesome. I made one minute screw to the uh, to the balance of it back there. Um, not the balance. The uh, there's little screws in the bottom that level the build plate, and I've just barely tweaked that one. It looks like it's helping. Sweet. I'm gonna call it there. Ugh, it is so late. I have to teach children in the morning. I'm gonna turn this one off. Yep, I get it, yep. Might as well be able to watch this. Can you see that? Mm. Okay. It's already warping way too much, so... Uh... It's completely removed, so that's cool. By the way, sorry about the poor quality of this part of the video, but it's still recording the very long uh, marathon print or marathon recording. <laughs> so you can see. Let me actually switch it real fast. So you can uh, pretty well see there how very warped it uh, was already becoming. Um, all of it should be smooth like this and there's these massive ridges. Um, I'm sure you saw that part where I ended up having to cut off a bit towards the front. Yeah, look at this. This is some mess. So I'm going to re-slice it one more time. Ugh. God, I need to leave. It is... what time? That time. Yeah, that. Ooh. Ooh. All right, here we go. This is going to be the final take. Final! <laughs> I've uh, bumped the speed up back up to, sorry, I'm walking around. Um, I'm, mm -hmm. I bumped the speed back down to normal. Um, I've increased quality and just uh, changed a few things and it's only estimating like the exact same amount of time, like maybe a 30 minute difference, uh, the 24 hour period. So, uh, here's hoping. Okay, like 40 minutes later it's printing. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Hopefully turning that light off has helped. You guys see this better. <sighs> it's 2.22 a.m. I'm going home to go to bed so that I can get up and go to work. Okay.
Okay, um, we are currently 8 hours 52 minutes into this print. Yes, you heard me correctly, 8 hours 52 minutes for an inch, not even an inch, maybe <laughs> two thirds of an inch. And it's estimating only 6 hours 31 minutes left remaining, so way, way less than, uh, than what uh, it was uh, previously. Anyway, is that right? 9 hours? Yeah, that yeah, sounds about right. Um, Cool. So I'm going to put my hand in front for a second so that I can actually spot this when I'm editing because holy crap that's a lot to scrub through. And uh, see you at the end of this. Awesome! Technically bigger. Anyway, let's uh, 